Rosie's body resided in a place that looked like a copy of everyone else's. Gray skies outside. Beige walls inside. But in those beige walls lie some of the greatest stories. Stories that offered all the things life failed to give her. Rosie's first time feeling love was because of a film. Her happiest memory was when she listened to music. And her most peaceful moments were with a book. Rosie's heart depended on fiction to feel something. And it infected not only her heart, but also her mind. Her days were so consumed by stories that she began living in them. The endless genres liberated her identity and made it possible for her to explore every shade of existence. It was like travel, but through the spirit of a character. Rosie could be anyone, except for herself. And so she ended up in a world where her mind was so caught up in a fantasy that her body became deprived of ever living one. It was a corpse of a life Rosie gave up on. A corpse that never got its own story.